Got a Proton VPN subscription but not sure how to get started, or perhaps you want to see how easy it is to set up and use. In this video, I'll guide you through how to use Proton VPN step by step, and I'll explore its key features. So let's dive in. To kick this Proton VPN tutorial off, let's install the application. But first, you'll need a subscription. I'd advise you get a plan via the link in the description because it'll be heavily discounted with the current best available coupon code. Otherwise, you can simply visit protonvpn.com or Google the provider's name instead. But why burn a hole in your pocket when you can save some money? Alternatively, a Proton VPN free version is available, but it's limited in features and bandwidth. It's good to test the provider out, but down the line, I highly recommend upgrading. The free plan is just not convenient if you plan to use Proton VPN daily. To download the app, log into your newly created Proton VPN account right here and click the Downloads tab. Afterwards, choose the correct installer for you. In my case, that's Windows, so I clicked on it. If you're not a Windows user, fear not, I'll show you how to install the app on other devices momentarily. Once the installer is finished downloading, run it by double clicking. Then follow the instructions on screen. Proton VPN should install on your device shortly. And then all that's left for us to do now is log in. Now on Mac, iOS, and Android, the process is even easier. You can simply download Proton VPN from the respective app stores. For this Proton VPN tutorial, I'll continue showing you how to use Proton VPN on a Windows device, but the user interface stays consistent across operating systems, so it'll generally look the same no matter what kind of device you're using. Since we're just logging in, let's see what's going on under the hood. What I like right off the bat is the look of the user interface. It's sleek and modern. Another nice touch I noticed immediately is the interactive map right in the center of the app, which marries both aesthetics and functionality. Let me show you. If I hover my mouse over one of the countries, I can easily connect without having to search for a location in the menu. Then on the left side of the app, we find the available country connection list, where I can choose a location. You can select more countries by scrolling down the list or using the search bar instead to find it quicker. Or if I just wanna connect without selecting a specific country, there's the quick connect button right above the country list. If I click this button, like so, Proton will connect to the closest server near me. This is a good option if you want the best possible speeds when using a VPN and are unsure which server to connect to. Now that I'm connected to the VPN, my internet traffic is encrypted and my online activity is safer and more private. To highlight a few benefits, since my network traffic is encrypted, not even my internet service provider can see what I'm browsing. This stays the same for any website that I visit. Plus, online data trackers can't easily get any of my personal information either. And if you're wondering if connecting to Proton VPN is as easy on other devices as it is on Windows, yes, it's absolutely the same. Since the UI is identical on all operating systems, connecting on iOS, Android, or Mac is easy as we can see in the example on screen. Since we've covered how to connect to the VPN, now let's explore Proton VPN's many features. I'll show you how to find all of them, but I'll only focus in on the most important ones for day-to-day -day use. Like every top VPN provider, Proton VPN offers a kill switch, which is an additional layer of security ready to prevent your data, like your IP address, from being compromised. If you lose connection with the VPN server, the kill switch blocks all network traffic. To turn the kill switch on, click this icon just above the search bar. I usually use the softer version because the permanent kill switch won't let me access the internet at all unless I'm connected to the VPN. But this stricter version is excellent for any privacy enthusiast looking for maximum security, so make sure to give it a spin as well. The next feature is one of my favorites, NetShield Ad Blocker. It blocks malicious ads and websites, making my browsing experience that much smoother and safer. To enable the ad blocker, click the shield icon near the kill switch feature. Here you can choose whether to block malware or trackers and ads too. I personally chose the latter and recommend you do that too. Moving on in this Proton VPN guide, let's talk about Secure Core. This feature is for those who are looking for extra security because it routes your VPN through a couple of locations instead of just one. This is a good feature to use in restricted countries like China, but using it in the US also makes sense. After all, it makes it much more difficult for the government to view your data. To enable Secure Core, click the lock icon and slide the button to turn it on. Afterward, you can choose which countries to route the connection through, like Canada and Switzerland. Oh, and just a disclaimer, it will slow down your internet connection. So that's worth keeping in mind. But wait, there's more. You know that annoying feeling when you're watching a show and you're really into it, but the video starts buffering and totally ruins your immersion in the story? 
Luckily for us, ProtonVPN solves this issue with the VPN Accelerator feature. For example, say I'm streaming a show while connected to a Japanese server, even though I'm actually in the US. Since the distance is really large, the show can sometimes buffer or the quality can be choppy, which isn't ideal. To solve this, just enable the VPN Accelerator feature, and it'll stabilize and improve your internet connection speed across long distances. To turn on the feature, we'll navigate to the triple dash in the very top left corner of the screen. Here, let's click Settings and turn on VPN Accelerator in the Connection tab. Finally, port forwarding is another essential tool for those who frequently enjoy the benefits of P2P traffic. This feature allows you to forward a port you set up in the torrenting software, enabling you to share any files you want. Many top VPN providers don't offer port forwarding at all, so if this is something that interests you, Proton has your back. To enable this feature, let's return to Settings and then navigate to the Advanced tab. Port forwarding is at the top of the list where you'll be able to set it up, like so. It's important to note that port forwarding is only available on special Proton VPN servers. These are marked with a double arrow icon. Proton VPN has many other features, but covering all of them and their use cases would require a whole separate video. In any case, I strongly recommend Proton VPN. This provider is brimming with tools to make your online experience much safer. As a reminder, you can get the best discount by scanning the QR code on screen or clicking on the link in the description. Why pay more money when you don't have to? Am I right? So that's it for me today. If you have any insights or questions on how to use Proton VPN, let me know in the comments. And if you want to learn more about Proton VPN, check my other Proton VPN review on screen. Thanks, and see you in the next video.